children during the octave we have learned how the three magi are examples uh, for us in humility and in obeying the rules of God. Today, on the final day of the Epiphany uh, octave, we read about baptism of Jesus. Jesus himself today gives us an example to follow in humility and in obeying the rules of God. This all started when John the Baptist, who was the cousin of our Lord, he was preaching penance to the people of the Holy Land. Many people in those times, they were committing sins, even such bad th sins as idolatry, and so that they would be cured from their sins and obtain pardon, St. John the Baptist preached uh, to them that they must renounce, that is, give up their sins and start to obey God again. And many people heard the preaching of St. John the Baptist. They were sorry of their sins and wanted from now on to do what is right. And as a sign that somebody was penitent, he was sorry of his sins, St. John, um, John the Baptist baptized people. He had them go into the river where this um, baptism kind of uh, symbolized the washing away of sins. And it happened one day that when St. John was again baptizing people, Jesus came to him and he, Jesus himself, told John that he wanted to be baptized. St. John was horrified. He asked, you come to be baptized by me. How come I should be baptized by you? But Jesus answered uh, that since it was the will of God that people should be baptized, he wanted to receive uh, the baptism too. And that he did. St. John took Jesus to the river and there he baptized Jesus. And it happened a great miracle then that heavens were opened and the Holy Ghost came down upon Jesus in the form of a dove, and everybody could hear a voice coming from heaven which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This was really the start of the public preaching of Jesus Christ. Until then, he had just slowly and quietly collected his own disciples together. But now, after being baptized and presented himself or manifested himself uh, to all people, now he himself would start to preach and tell people how they need to be sorry of their sins and how they must from now on love God and obey him. Dear children, we see in uh, this story, when this narrative of our Lord's baptism, the great proclamation of the Blessed Trinity. Jesus, the Son, is there. He is baptized and the Holy Ghost comes uh, to him in the form of the dove. And from the heavens, we hear the voice of God the Father, that this is his beloved Son. Always when we sign ourselves, we make the sign of the cross and say all three persons, uh, all the names of all three persons of the Blessed Trinity. So it is an important catechism lesson for us, the baptism of Jesus. But like said, Jesus also gives us a great lesson in humility and obeying the rules of God. Of course, Jesus being our Savior, 
there was no sin in him. But since it is the will of God that we also, all of us, should be baptized, he wanted to be baptized as well. We also see the great humility of St. John the Baptist. He objected first, but as soon as he learned that this was the will of God, that he should baptize Jesus, that's exactly what he did. All of us, too, when we were just babies, or some of us maybe uh, even a little older, all of us were also cleansed from our sins in baptism. If we love God, we are sorry of our sins. But in baptism, our souls were made holy. We received the Holy Ghost, and we became one of God's dear children. That's why this, it's so important that everyone gets baptized so that all can receive the great grace and salvation of Jesus uh, Christ. And once you are baptized, you can receive the other sacraments of the Church as well. And for the rest of our lives, when we have been made the children of God in baptism, we must also love our dear Lord and obey Him like a good and humble and obedient child does. And if it's difficult to live a life of a God's child, that's why there is prayer that we always ask more graces from God, our Heavenly Father. And that's why our Mother, the Church, gives us sacraments, especially those of Holy Eucharist and penance, where we are absolved from our sins and we receive our own dear Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.